Today, we are going to be talking to you about a formation that is defensively sound, great in the attack with the ability to counter, tick attacker, look for one twos, and even a possession style base of game. It will get your opponents to rage quit when used effectively, and it is the 4-4-2. So the 4-4-2 is one of the great formations on FIFA 22 right now. It has numerous strengths. Look, it's not an attractive time to pause the video, but if you just want the custom tactics and instructions, please head to the timestamp below to go straight to that part of the video, which we're going to go through and explain for you. We're going to provide you with all of the details that you need on how to use this formation effectively, along with the custom tactics and instructions. But first, we need to understand what sort of team do we need to operate in the 4-4-2. First of all, the goalkeeper needs to be able to make saves. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. I use Petr Cech here, one of my goalkeepers that has done the job. They are very lackluster on FIFA 22 right now, though. The fullbacks, ideally, you want them to be able to go forward. So if they do have high attacking work rates, that isn't too big of a deal. But you definitely want fullbacks that are capable in defense. Your usual Hernandez, Mendy, Cuadrado, Walker, Trent, whoever it is that you've got, as long as they've got the ability to go forward, they can dribble, they can pass, they can whip across in, but they can defend, you'll be absolutely fine. For two center backs, you definitely want to make sure that one of them has got quite a bit of pace to them if possible. There's no harm in running someone that's a more traditional center back, maybe like Van Dyke, but the other one definitely needs to be able to have that pace to kind of make up for the defensive line which we are running in the 442 which you will see later on in the video. The two center mids are absolutely crucial to the 442 and working effectively. One center mid needs to be your defensive minded center mid. I use Petit here. You may want to use someone like Kante who is absolutely fine. Just a traditional center defensive mid with medium attacking work rates and high defensive work rates is the ideal scenario if you can get this here. The centre mid that is going to partner him is your more box-to-box -box or attacking midfielder. The one that will get forward. They may even pop up with some goals in this formation. So having high, high work rates here would be fine. High medium does also work, but they ideally need some pace. They need to be able to shoot. They've got long shots to them. That'll be very, very beneficial. And also they need to be able to dribble and kind of take that ball forward. The wingers in the 4-4-2 are one of the most important things, actually. And you are going to really get them involved and we'll show you how shortly but they need to have pace they need to be able to beat a man don't worry too much about the defensive stats because you're going to use them in a defensive way manually rather than relying on them as a defensive winger let's say but definitely they need to have pace in the 90s plus if they can have high attacking work rates and medium defensive work rates that is ideal which you will get for most wingers anyhow now the two strikers are completely down to you I like to have one striker that has the ability to have the ball whipped into him. Kind of a bit like a target man. Benzema is the player which I've been using recently. And then the other striker which I use is Fakir. The ideal partnership is someone that is lightning quick. So if you've got like an Mbappe, a Rashford, someone like that, that would be ideal. And then having that player next to them who's more traditional sort of striker. Again, you are looking for the high attacking work rates. If they have medium or low defensive work rates, even better. You will notice in the 4-4-2 and just strikers in general, they do drop quite deep actually. And they do kind of come back, which isn't too much of an issue. So if they do have high, high work rates, you are allowed to use that on one particular striker. Defending in the 4-4-2 creates two banks of four, believe it or not. The way the wingers are going to kind of step in and aid as an extra fullback will mean it's very difficult to break down. You can be aggressive with the one centre mid. You just want to try and make sure that you are covering the passing lanes first, giving the opponent no option to go forward. They can go out to the wing, but they can't go forward. Once you've covered off that passing lane to the striker, feel free to press for that centre mid and try and turn take the opponent to turn backwards or try and win the ball. Should they beat the press, however, you do have your two centre-backs there, which you do need to switch to in time to keep them goal side and do your best to try and get a last-ditch tackle in or a last-ditch block. 
when you are defending in the 4-4-2 and the ball gets up against those center backs you need to buy yourself some time you the center mid will come back and help out in that defensive area on the edge of the 18 you just need to not make any rash decisions or any rash tackles one of the biggest mistakes that i see from players when using the 442 is that they do defend and they win the ball back and then they pass the ball straight into the center mid turn and look to go straight to the striker do not do this well you can at times but as a whole you don't want to do this you want to go out to the wing when coming out of the press out of your defensive area that will make it much easier for you and will actually give your team time to get into their positions so many people lose the ball in this area which causes the opponent to have a very easy route to goal one pass bang into their striker and take that shot on goal it is very crucial in the 4-4-2 with the way that the center mids will press when you have lost the ball in the opponent's final third to be able to right stick switch you need to be able to switch to your fullbacks your center back track any over the top through balls and be there before that ball is even played we have done a video on right stick switching click up here if you want to watch that if that is something that you do particularly struggle with but being able to track these through balls and then get numbers back behind the ball and being patient with it pushing the opponent out towards the wing is absolutely fine the big part about this though is that do not let the opponent get towards the byline which is in your 18 yard box you don't want to allow them to get into there so you may need to switch to your fullback and defend that one-on-one -on -one manually getting to the byline is very effective on v 22 so please don't allow it moving into the attack now how do we want to attack in the 4-4-2 we're talking more so kind of as we're getting into the opponent's set a half into that final third simply put we want to be able to use the 4-4-2 in an up and down manner this means using your left mid into your center mid down to your other center mid right mid and then going up and down until you find an opening we talk a lot about the driven passes you're going to want to use these in the 442 as much as you possibly can the r1 and x the rb and a into the striker from the wing is absolutely fine you can even do it obviously from your center mid bypassing their midfield and being quick on that counter if that opportunity does arise looking for the one twos between the strikers will also allow you to get in behind very easily you may even look for these little over the top through balls which will work very well but please make sure that you use the wingers in the 442 they are so crucial in kind of allowing your attack especially how we have their instruction set up which you'll see in just a second they are going to make runs in behind constantly causing the opponent's fullbacks to be all over the place causing the opponent's defensive line to just get all over the place so please make sure that you use them if a through ball is in behind go for it if you want to use them as bait and let the winger go for that running behind and then look for that pass into the striker or to another center mid you can also do this we'll talk a little bit more in detail in just a second with regards to the general play style in the 442 but as a whole that sort of attacking technique and attacking patterns will really help you get into some goal scoring opportunities so taking a look at the custom tactics and player instructions now we're going to start off with how we set up in defense we're going to go for balanced defensive style with 42 width and 67 depth we'll start off by talking about the depth first of all 67 you will notice that your defensive line is a little bit higher than normal we are looking to try and play almost an, an offside trap essentially and like i said remembering to right six switch and track any over the top through balls because we have two banks of four this makes it very difficult for the opponent to play in between those lines they're almost forced to try and go in behind which can actually result in you getting the ball back on a regular basis i have ran press on possession loss and press on heavy touch and i do like press on heavy touch if you just have to a little bit more of a pressing game maybe if you're not too good at pressing yourself manually i'd recommend using press on heavy touch but if you feel like you're capable of pressing yourself then leave it on balance now the reason for this is because you can still then keep a very neutral and defensive shape on when you are defending 42 width obviously is just to keep it nice and narrow and compact and get those wingers involved in the defensive style as well moving over to the offensive style of things really go for balanced and forward runs on the chance create chance creation one thing that i will say when it comes to the build-up play i personally go for balance because i'm relying myself on using the l1 the lb button to trigger any runs in the middle of the park the left mid and right mid already make those runs in behind 
with the player instructions, which we'll talk about in just a second. But I found if I went with fast build up, team shape was just all over the place when coming out of defense. And I found that if I use long ball as well, it's too, the strikers are wanting to get in behind too much. And I don't mind that every now and then, but I certainly don't want it in every single attack that I have. Have a little play around with this, see what you like. We go for the 60 width because we do want to spread the play wide and, you know, use it so we go right mid to center mid up to left mid and really spread the opponent's defense all over the place. And then we do go for a very neutral five players in box. That's my personal preference. That's what works for me. You will see your left mid, right mid, mid and your left center mid or your attacking center mid getting involved though with any crosses that may come up player instructions now the goalkeeper i actually do have on comes across his sweeper keeper check doesn't actually like this this isn't one of his strengths but it's something that i've been using a little bit more recently i used it throughout the whole of fifa 20 and i do find it to work fairly well on fifa 22 and it does obviously go inside with a high defensive line that we do have the fullbacks I have on stay back while attacking, and that is the only instruction. Please use these on the overlap or inverted runs if you want to yourself. You have to get them forward. You have to give yourself some form of attacking threat with the fullbacks every now and then as well. The centre backs, we just leave completely unbalanced. We don't change anything on them. Our right centre defensive mid, which is Petite, he's on stay back while attacking and cover centre. This is our centre defensive mid. We've already spoke about what you need here. So you can replicate that. Our left centre mid, the more attacking centre midfielder, we do get them on getting to the box for a cross and we leave them on cover centre. But leaving them on balance on the attack. So they will go forward and attack when they deem necessary. And a quick one as well. You don't have to run it that left centre mid and that right centre mid that, that way. You can have it the other way around if your right centre mid is the attacking one. That's not a problem just because we do always get asked those questions. Now, the wingers, we have them on get in behind and get into the box for cross. That means that if the ball is on the opposite side of the pitch to them and they can make a run to the back stick, they will do that. Because I myself, I do look for some crosses if they do come up for me. And obviously that get in behind, as I said earlier on, will get them to really disrupt the opponent's defensive shape, cause their fullbacks to drop back meaning you can look for through balls through the middle and really catch their defensive line off guard. For my right striker, which is Fakir, I have him on completely balanced, trusting Fakir to do what he thinks is necessary. He almost plays at times as a centre attack in mid because that's probably where he's best off being played. He almost drops in to the number 10 position, receives the ball, which can work really well. And then my left striker, which is Benzema, I have him on stay forward. The only reason why I have this is that, as I said, the strikers do drop deep on FIFA 22. So just put in one of them on stay forward. We'll give you that out ball. We'll keep them to stay touch tight on the center back and maybe look for an over the top through ball if that is possible. I'm just going through and editing this video and adding in the like and subscribe button. If you haven't already, please do leave a like on this video. It does really help us grow and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. Let's get back to the video. One thing that I will add in terms of the play style of this formation really does come down to you. The reason why I'm loving it at the minute is that you have the ability to counter attack and be really aggressive if that opportunity is there. But you can also have a slow build up and move the ball around and really craft and work an opportunity to how seems fit. For some players as well, you may find that the play style that you have can actually make it easier to score with two strikers. Looking for those one twos. I will add, please do not constantly look for this because it gets too repetitive. Then it gets easy for your opponent to catch on to what you're doing and defend it. So you do need to make sure that you're using a variety of one twos with the striker, then getting the ball out to the wing and looking to attack the byline or looking to cross or maybe looking for a finesse shot on the edge as well. And then if you want to play some quick football, some quick one twos, first time passes, tick attacker sort of play style, you can do that as well in the 4-4-2. I really would invite you to use that left centre mid as an overload through the middle, almost just as a centre attacking mid like you would have in the 4-1-2-1-2. And that will really take your attack to the next level. So when you receive the ball with your attacking midfielder, lay it off to someone else and make sure you hold the L1, LB button to trigger them to go forward to give yourself another avenue. So overall, where would I rank this formation? For me, at the minute, it would be my number two. It doesn't make my number one spot, but it is very, very close. 
And the only reason why it doesn't make my number one spot is that the 4231 for me is just the king of formations in my particular play style. And the reason why is that it allows me to be more of a possession based player. I like playing quick FIFA. I like having the ability to look for one twos, look for counter attacks and to slow it down when we want, which we can do in the 442. But the 4231 just allows me to be more of the possession rat that I probably am. But let me know how you find it down below in the comment section. Is it a formation that you enjoy? Are there any particular changes that you would make to the custom tactics? Pop that down below in the comments. As always, thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. It is greatly appreciated. If you want to catch up with me on any of our socials, we are over on twitch.tv forward slash FIFA and for our live streams. We are over on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want any one-to-one -one direct coaching, head on over to the Analyst Academy which is available via Patreon, which is the best place for you to get one-to-one -one coaching, exclusive content, along with plenty of other things. Thank you all very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.